What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at circles and specifically we're looking at naming the properties of circles. So we're looking at naming the center, the radius, chord, diameter, circumference and arc. So let's start with the center, and the center is pretty self-explanatory. The center is this part right in the middle of the circle, the center. And the center is equidistant, equal distance from all sides of the circle. So we can label this center A, and by labeling the center A, we are actually naming the circle. So the name of this circle now would be A. If this center was labeled B, then the name of this circle would therefore be B. Okay, now let's look at radius, the second one. The radius is the measurement from the edge of the circle, any part of the edge, to the center of the circle. The radius is the line segment that connects those two points together. So if we were to label the center B and label this point here on the end C, then we could have a radius here of B and C. And we could show that that's a line segment by putting a line above it. That's how you show that line segment. Let's create another radius. So I could go from the center to the edge and I'm gonna label this part here D. So now I have another radius, but this time it's from B, the center, to D. And again, to show that line segment, I would put a line above it. And these two measurements would of course be the same because radius will always be the same because it's going from the center to the outside edge. Just incidentally, when we have two radius, we call it radii. Okay, let's look at chord. Now the chord connects two points on the edge of my circle and basically can connect any two points around the circle. So we could have this chord here and I'm gonna label this A and B. So this line segment would be A, B, but I could also make another chord cutting across this length of my triangle from A to C. So therefore, a, C would also be a chord. That brings me nicely over to my diameter because actually the diameter is also a chord. Because if you think about it, it's connecting two points on the edge of my circle. But the diameter has a very important rule. It must go through the center point. And by going through the center point, the diameter will actually be the longest chord that you could create. So the diameter of this one, I'm gonna label A, and B, so the diameter would be A, B. But again, I could make another diameter. I could come across my circle like that, and I could label that C and D, and therefore C and D would also be a diameter. Put my two lines above them to show that that is a line segment. So the diameter is the longest length across the circle. Let's move to circumference, and the circumference is actually the measurement all the way around the edge of my circle. So if we were to start here, for example, I would measure this red line all the way around my circle. That wasn't very neat, was it? And that would be my circumference. So the circumference doesn't come into my circle at any point. It's just the measurement all the way around the outside, essentially the perimeter of the circle. And it's our circumference that our chord, our diameter and our radius will come to meet. There's our radius, let's call it AB. Let's make a chord, let's call it C and D. And let's make a diameter, let's call that E and F. So they all touch the circumference. Okay, our final one is the arc. And an arc joins two points of my circle, let's call it A and B, but goes around the circumference. Again, not coming into the circle, just measuring around the circumference. And we can have all different length arcs. I could have a very small arc just like this, or I could measure a large arc by coming all the way around here. And there we go, that is six very important properties of circles. If you want to know how to find the area of circles or how to measure the circumference or the diameter, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be making those videos next and they're gonna be coming up in the next few days. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, stick around by subscribing to the channel. But for now, peace out.